Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Google's new AI search lab. So all you have to do is when you're going on your browser is to see if you have this feature right here and you're going to click on that. And as you can see, it says search labs and it's going to take you to this page. And now there is a pop up version. Let me show you what that looks like because I already clicked it out. When you click on that button, it's going to take you to this page and then you just have to click agree and then you'll see all of the different options. Once you do that, all you have to do is click on turn on for all of them. And then let me show you some of the things that you can do with it. Let's go ahead and try an example. And you'll get this page. And then as you can see, you'll get all of these other results on the side and then suggestions. And it also creates follow up questions for you. Let's try the second one. Pretty cool. You can also get code similar to using ChatGPT. I haven't tested it fully as far as how far or limiting it can actually be. So we'll have to see how that goes after I test it out. I'll do, have to do another video on that soon. The last one is the add to sheet. So let's go ahead and click on learn more. And this is where you can uh, study and see how it will add the information. So you just have to look for this specific icon. It's going to be on the left hand side and once you do that, you can actually add it to the spreadsheet. So that's a simple way to do things. So I think it's a pretty cool feature that Google is adding AI and different tools to help people optimize the way that they function and that they work and they research. So, um, and it's free to use. So, I mean, that's a, an awesome thing to do. And the last thing I did want to show you in regards to the Google AI search lab, these are the new generative AI terms of service. So I think it's pretty interesting that uh, we're now going to start seeing more terms of service that I really recommend that people uh, read and make sure that they're using it within the terms. And one of the important factors, okay, it's right here. It says you may not use the services to develop machine learning models or related technology. So it's not like it's an open source software that you can then try to create your own based on Google's infrastructure. I'm not sure if it says anything about limited, you know, to like commercial purposes or anything like that. But, um, you know, we always see what people can do later on once they find ways to like really optimize the tools and really use it for, you know, financial purposes. So, um, but yeah, it's a pretty quick tool and I hope you check it out and let me know what you guys are able to do with it. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye bye.